With new case numbers only being reported once a week and the growth in home testing right. that usually goes unreported, yeah. the question becomes how useful is it to even follow the seven day moving average anymore or weekly, even the uh, case count then? Certainly an undercount. Dr. Yeah. McGeorge here now with some insight. Frank, how big is this impact of self, uh, you know, home self testing on these numbers, which of course most of us don't turn around and report, right? Well, right, Kim and Devin, you know, it's probably a fairly significant. It's been estimated, in fact, by the Department of Health and Human Services that the number of home tests done every day is somewhere around two to four times the number that are done in labs. Now, of course, many of them are negative, but when they are positive, the mechanism to report the results are very weak. So there are plans to improve it. The National Institutes of Health, along with the Association of Public Health Laboratories, are working to streamline the reporting of COVID-19 tests as more people use at-home tests. Public health experts are concerned that the lack of reporting of those at-home results will lead to an undercount of the true number of COVID cases in the U.S. Now, the NIH and the APHL have teamed up to improve the reporting of COVID-19 test results between at-home test manufacturers and public health authorities. This approach still relies on people who use at-home tests to self-report their results to manufacturers, but APHL officials hope their system will make the process more efficient. Now, a pilot study launched in March of last year and partially done here in Michigan found the use of a digital app was feasible for reporting, but there were still barriers, particularly because at-home antigen tests are not as accurate as PCR testing done in the lab. Now, while this study found people were comfortable uploading the results of their test, either positive or negative, a significant number of users actually did prefer to remain anonymous when they were sharing their results. So, uh, Doc, given that the state now has also moved to this once a week reporting just on Wednesdays, I I'm wondering if you get any thoughts then on the importance of the new case numbers overall. Well, you know, Evan, I don't know what was behind that decision, but my opinion is that in the big picture, we are becoming less focused on new daily case numbers, and there's really nothing wrong with that. Routinely barraging the public with numbers isn't necessarily helpful at this point, no, and it only yeah. feeds into more anxiety. Now, my only caveat there is that someone at the state or local level does need to constantly monitor the numbers, and if a concerning change occurs, whether it's in new cases or hospitalizations, people do need to be made aware so that they can really readjust their behaviors. And ultimately, that's really why capturing the at-home test results is so important. We can only spot a change if we have good data. Really right. Uh, that's exactly the point. All right, Doc.